Hello guys. So today I want to present you a plugin I just made. It's called the Lunch Scene Opening Plugin. So what it does, it, it basically adds two additional scenes when you start out the, the game before entering the title screen. So you're going to see there's the, there you go, the first scene where it displays Mushroom Cake 28 Presents. And then it fades out and it jumps into the second scene. There you go, the launch scene opening plugin version 1.02, and then it jumps into the title screen. Great, right? But well, the hold on, hold on. There's more. Let's go into the parameters. There you go. So for the first scene, you you have the ability to turn on and off a scene. So for example, you don't want you don't want the second scene. You can just turn that to false. It's not going to display the second scene. And it's going to jump directly into the title screen. So, but also you can customize uh, the uh, the text and even images that display on your scene. So basically, you have up to three objects. So you you can have like two 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 text box and one image. So the first the first object that's going to be displayed is the top one. So if you want like some text, you just go into the the parameters scene one top the the type of it. It's going to be text. There you go. And te and then what it's going to display it's into the scene one top info parameter. So let's say it's uh, it's going to display hello my friend. Just type hello my friend and hit okay. Now, the position parameter is where you want it where you want it to appear on screen. So, if you leave it blank by default, it's going to center it. So, you can just leave it like blank and it's going to display perfectly. But let's say you want it to display like on the left corner of the screen, top left cor corner. So first of all, this you should you you have to use a syntax. So open bracket, the X, whoops, sorry, the X comma, and then the Y close bracket. So let's say we said the top, uh, top part, left top part of the screen. So it's, let's set it to zero, zero. There you go. And then you can also uh, you can also make the screen display some images. So into the type instead of writing text, you just have to write image. Very simple, right? And then into the info parameter, you need to put the file name. And by default, it's going to read uh, the files from. Uh, sorry about that. It's going to read it from um, the the uh, system folder. So we're just going to go into our game folder and go into image system. And let's read the um, button set. There you go. Copy it and paste it into the. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Into the low info one. There you go. We're just going to leave the low position blank, so you you're going to see it's how it's centered. And then if you don't like the black background, you can set your own background. Just put the yeah, the image into the system folder and copy the file name, let's take book, there you go, a default um, background, and put it into here, uh, background. Oh, you need to set it to, there you go, book. And then if, for people who like, who are making games w with a higher res uh, screen resolution, um, you're going to see sometimes like the image is too small, so you're going to see some black parts on the screen or the image is too big. And it's gonna be, it's gonna like be cut off by the screen. So if you want uh, the image to be to be stretched to the exact same size as the screen, just put true here into the back stretch parameter. And then the next uh, parameter is the fade time. Basically, it's uh, how long are the fade in and the, uh, and the fade out of the screen of this scene. So higher is a uh, higher number is higher is longer uh, obviously this is 120 frames so it's going to be about 2 seconds next it's the text fade parameter so this is basically the time it takes for a tag for the for a text or an image to appear on the screen like obviously it's a transition from zero opacity to 255 which is the max opacity with rpg maker then the next parameter is the weight message is ba it's basically the the number of frames uh, between between each object that appears on the screen. So by default, it's going to display the first the uh, the first object, which is the the top object, which is in this case te the text "Hello, my friend," and then it's going to wait. It's going to wait five frames, and then it's going to display the mid the the second object, which is the mid one, 
and then it's going to wait another five frames, and then it's going to display the low, the lower part of the lower object on the screen. So you could put like 60 seconds. It's going to take longer for objects to appear on um, to appear on the screen. Then there's the wait parameters. It, it's the the time you want this the the game to wait before transitioning into the next scene or the title screen. So obviously, the longer the longer it's higher number. Then you have the input skip parameter. Is basically you do you want the player to be able to skip the scene by pressing like any input? It's the default RPG Maker inputs, by the way. So if if you, if you have any um, uh, plugins that adds additional um, c commands and inputs, it's not going to work. But if you set it to true, the player will have the ability to skip the scene by pressing any inputs. So if you set it to false, the player won't be able to skip the scene. I'm just going to leave it to, to true for now. Then you have the second scene, which you can customize uh, exactly like the first scene. So let's skip that. And then at the end, you have an additional scene, which is by default in, uh, disabled. But let's set it to true. It's the scene opening. So you have the ability to add an opening to your game, which is basically a video that plays just before getting into the title screen. So set the scene OP to true if you want one. And next, you're going to need to put the movie into your let's see it's here into your into your movie folder here so for this example we're going to use the code gas first opening copy the name and paste it here into the scene opening movie parameter there you go and again uh, you can put it you can set the uh, this parameter to false if you, if you want the player to be to not be able to skip the video so let's try our new scene so it should have a background there you go it should display hello my friend at the top here mushroom cakes presents and then display an image here and then it should skip the the second scene and jump right into the opening like that and you can skip the opening by clicking any inputs and there you go that's it for this plugin i hope you enjoy if you if you enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna come up with them. Um, I'll try to upload as frequently as possible, but but it might be hard for me since I'm still in school. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank thanks for watching.